Shadowversity t-shirts and hoodies. They are special. Available through Teespring, link in the description. Shadowversity. Greetings, I'm Shad. And you know, it actually wasn't my intention to make so many God of War videos recently, but when I get an idea stuck in my head, I've got to see it through to the end. And so I made my video analysing his combat, but then I made a video exploring the practicality of hanging an axe from your back. And in that video, you saw me introduce this little, you know, gizmo here as an attempt to kind of improve on the design of the axe hook you see in God of War. That video was a lot of fun to make, but I really enjoyed the feedback and discussion that came in the comments. And a couple of, you know, comments arose that really made me reconsider this design. And also from my own experimentation, I've now made this. You'll notice that this design actually has a lot more in common with the original Kratos God of War hook axe Greek symbol thingy. So I'll explain my thought process in designing this new version and also test it for the first time on camera to see how effective it is. But of course, before we continue, I really do encourage you to watch the video where I put this to the test. It's a lot of fun. And I get to explain a little bit of the history and practicality behind just carrying weapons on your back in general. So a really good watch. I really highly recommend you watch it. So I'll put a card there and a link in the description. And so if you haven't watched it, please pause this and go watch that one now. It'll be a lot of fun and you'll enjoy it. I'm also planning to step up the tests in this video because I got some real axes here that I'm going to test this axe hook out with as well. I'm going to do it with the wooden one first because uh, I actually don't know if uh, the little gizmo I've made will support the weight. I think it'll do all right with the one-handed, but the one that's a bit closer to Kratos's one, well, the weight might be too much. Still, I'll come back to uh, these axes here because there's a little bit more information I want to cover about uh, the sizes here and the relation. Many of you pointed out, and rightly so, that Kratos' original axe hook thing, and I'm just going to call it an axe hook, all right? I'll horse you out of now. I'll just call it hook because... I can't think of anything better. But that, that design, the original one in the game, was really good because the opening was slightly smaller than the circumference of the ring, which meant to get the axe in, it had to be kind of sliding like that, then it would turn and it would hook in and it wouldn't be able to fall out. The problem that I saw with that, because I did notice it as well, is that whenever the axe is put on, it seems to be just put on flat, but that might just be a game's graphics thing or animation or whatever. And the other thing, I felt the opening between uh, the hook was actually too large. And even if it needed to slide, you know, uh, turn on the angle a little bit to get in, it wouldn't take too much of a slide while it's in there to fall out. So if it, this, uh, you know, concept, this idea of having the axe lock in place was to work, the opening on this kind of uh, design, the, the Kratos' original design, if that is to work, the opening needs to be much, much smaller. And that's what I've done with this version right here. So if you compare this one to the original God of War one, you will see that the opening here only large enough to fit the axe through on this angle, okay? So it's not gonna fit in like that. It has to be turned on the side, like you are pointing out, but I've just extended that. I, I've made this principle far more prominent, so it has to go in on like this, and then once it's thin, it's hooked in, and it might be far more secure than my other design, and more secure than the design we see in God of War. And if this principle is to work, that means the, this hook doesn't need to be on an upwards angle. So I've just put it on a straight forward out, forwards out angle. And interestingly enough, there, it does seem to be an advantage if it was angled down a bit, which meant when the axe wants to slide out, it'll then hook in and become even more secure. But I didn't put this on a downwards angle. I put it more on just a 90 degree angle because I noticed on my previous design, when it's hanging on my back, just by virtue of the weight pulling it down, it seems to pull it down even further. And I didn't want it to go too far down. And I wanted it to be pointing out enough when no axe is in it for the prongs to be sticking out to actually get it in a lot easier. The other design difference that you'll notice are these two big kind of guiding rods uh, that are a part of the horseshoe thing. So that means that I don't just have to get it a perfect dead center, that I can actually hit there or there, and that the axle slide and then fall into place, and then it's a matter of a twist, and uh, hopefully lock in. So let's see if it uh, works out as conveniently as I'm explaining it. 
And here we go. Uh, this time around, you'll notice that uh, it's a bit tighter on the back, so hopefully it won't be as much swinging or sagging around. And uh, that's what it's looking like. So let's see how easy it is to hook the axe on your back. Hopefully I'll do a bit better first off this time because I had practice with the other design. And then once it is hooked, how stable will it be? And I'll be trying with real axes this time as well. Okay, so the trick this time, what I need to do is instead of just putting it flat, I need to turn it on an angle and get it in like that and then twist and hook it in. So, <laughs> uh, you know, it helps so much if you can actually see it. And then, did I get it? Did I get it? I got it first try, okay, and as many people pointed out in the previous video, it doesn't really matter how long it takes to put away, because in an adventuring scenario, what really matters is how fast you can take it out. And that's what we found, you know, with the previous design, it had a really easy way to release it. So I'll be testing the quickness of it, but first of all, I want to see how secure it is, because this design, it should be a lot more secure because of the twisting motion. It should be locked in place, and so this should not be coming out, like so. We're going to be doing some pretty wide swings that you wouldn't want to do that with a real axe though. But, uh, we're real, gee, and I'm going to try it with a real axe, all right? But, uh, all right, so, uh, the whole swinging around, all right, let, let's, let's try the jump because last time the jump didn't work out quite as good. And so, uh, <laughs> this is pretty darn secure, okay? Oh, uh, this is, all right, oh, I'm getting excited again. Something I have noticed already is that the weight on the back has already caused the belt to start to slip. And so the way to fix that is if I was to put like a hook or something through there, so to stop it slipping down and hold it there. So the belt would hold it there and that would be far more secure in place and it wouldn't be slipping. But I just have to kind of hold it to demonstrate. Okay, so now I'm going to try some adventuring kind of things to see how practical it is while it's on your back. And so uh, I'll just do some quick running motions. This is how Kratos runs, of course. Ninja run! Ninja run! Ninja run! Ninja! Ninja run! Okay. Crawling. Now we'll just go crawl. Oh, it might fall out. Crawling! Crawling! Actually, that did all right crawl. You didn't even fall out then. Yeah, well, it's starting to get a bit loose from that one though. Of course, if you feel it rattling around a bit, I would. Oh, is it stuck in there now? It's not moving. That'll make it a problem getting out because I haven't tested pulling it out yet. So I'll test putting it away in a few other methods as well. But before I get back, I do want to finish off my uh, testing to see how secure it is locked in place there. So I'll give it a go, putting it back in from the Kratos way. I predicted the Kratos method would be more difficult, but of course this way should be cake. <laughs> First try, not a problem at all. I'll show you that uh, sheathing or hooking method a bit more later. All right, so now, Gonna go berserk. I'm gonna try and get this thing out. I might wreck my axe in the process. Okay. This is terrible. This is the one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Why? Why? We have our casualty. It broke. We could take that as a good thing though, that it was so securely in there that the only way the axe was coming out was if it broke through it. So of course, if you did this in real, real life, yeah, you would want a, uh, you would want it to be made out of steel or iron. And I think this also answers the questions of how well this would have fared with a real axe, okay? I don't think it would have stayed in there properly, but I think we've proven the concept, okay? I think uh, this proof of concept has been successful that you can get in, because you saw me do the back, you know, uh, hooking method, really easily. First try, back heels in there, not a problem. And that was really quick, but we didn't get to try how quickly you could draw it. Damn. All right, so I might have to do a, uh, some type of repair, not swing it around and test it, just so it'll hold it in place enough to test uh, the drawing method on it. Okay, I have done the most rough jury rig job to put it back together, just so I can finish off this video today. All right, a uh, bit of wood there, nailed it kind of back together. Hopefully it'll be enough to test how easy it is to pull the axe out of the hook once it's in. 
So I know this method is at least secure, and as to uh, how easy it is to hook in, it might be easier than the other one, in all honesty. So we've got our security, we've got e how uh, easy it is to put away. Now, how easy is it to let... That was pretty easy. Just got to remember to, uh, to twist it. So uh, now I need to put it away this way. Wow, that was easy. And then I grab it, twist, and out. <laughs> Tick, tick, tick. I, 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 those are three big thumbs up for this method. And it's, all, it's, it's also a bit of fun just to do. And then once you got it, uh, then, yeah, okay. So sometimes you can get a little hooked, but uh, once it's there, all right, so showing you, showing from behind now, so how, how easy it is to put away. That, oh gosh, that was quick and easy. And then out, just chuck it in there like that and then we know that it's really secure uh this method and then you see a bad guy just grab twist and out ah! so there we go the quick release works really well the trick is when you grab it you just need to twist it that way and pull it out and uh, it's there and then it's just out like that okay this one Wow, so much better, way more secure. But there's another thing we need to test because uh, this came up in the previous video. It's like one of the issues about back carries, what if someone came up and just grabbed it off your back and pulled it away? And this method probably even answers that issue as well for people trying to steal it because if they don't know that you need to twist it to release the ax, well then they probably won't be able to pull it out or at least they'll have to fiddle around and that'll give you enough time to realize what's going on and to grab your ax and kick their butt for trying to steal it. But let's see if, uh, if it's possible for someone to steal this sax from my back with this uh, type of hook. We have a thief in our midst. And let's see how easy it is for this thief to grab this ax off the back without knowing the trick. So I'm going to be standing here. Now let's see if I'm going to walk forward. Forward. Ah. Ah. Oh, there's a thief! There's a thief! You're trying to take my ax! You're trying to... I'll get you! Oh, I better run away! Ah! <laughs> that seemed to pass a thief test, didn't it? Uh, maybe we would need a more experienced thief. But unless they know to twist it, they might have a hard time trying to grab it out from there. Because, uh, like, uh, it won't come out, but then if I just grab it properly and twist, it falls out without a problem. All right, now I'm feeling a little bit overconfident with uh, my patch job. I might try and push it to see uh, if it can handle it. I don't think it will. You would need this to be made out of metal to handle the weight of a real axe. Uh, but uh, I'm going to give it a try anyway, and I got these two axes, and this also gives me the opportunity to address something, because uh, when I said that you couldn't lift the axe behind your back, you know, like that, if it was a real axe, some of you said, well, oh, I can, I must be a superhuman, or Shad, you're weak. All right, I was referring to an axe like this, not an axe like this, okay? So honestly, I'm happy to be proven wrong here, but if any of you can honestly grab an axe that comes up to the top of your hip, like right there, with a proper axe head, holding it down near the base and lifting it like that, <laughs> Kratos style. <laughs> I'm tempted to give you a hundred bucks, okay? Not swinging, and honestly, it'd be so dangerous to swing that as well. Don't do that. But just lifting, not a chance. Of course, if you choke the grip a bit, like there. Oh, just <laughs> barely, it's not easy. The other thing that I really wanted to point out was that this is just another good comparison between, uh, uh, you know, a, a standard wood chopping axe with what would actually be the standard size of a one-handed battle axe. Even though this is a wood chopping one because of its head, it is the right size for a one-handed battle axe. Do you see the difference? And so if the hook survives this one, we might step it up to see if it can hold this in it, which is a lot heavier, easily twice as heavy as this thing. And so like I was saying before, this axe, perfect size, for the standard one-handed battle axe in history. And even the head is very comparable to some of the axe heads as well, even though this is a wood chopping one. A perfect comparison. And of course, with an axe like this, well, yes, you can lift it in, but could you get it in the loop? I think we did. Uh, uh, it doesn't look too secure. I mean, see, is it, is it, is it in? It, it, maybe it's too small, but it looks... No, let's give that another guy. So... Kratos style. Uh. Uh. 
So it's sliding out. Can you see what's happening? Because I certainly can't, but it looks to be partially in. Okay, so what we're seeing a difference here is the weight is pulling it down a lot more than what we saw with the wooden one. But the other thing, because it's got a different axe head, doesn't have that big beard, like technically Kratos' axe is a bearded axe. It's just, it's still too big for a historical bearded axe, but that beard part, the part of the axe that's coming down, helps hook it into this loop here. Because we need to get it over there and then in. Well, actually, that seems pretty good. And it's holding it in so far, uh, but it does have a tendency to want to slip out. You know, I bet if I actually maybe flip it around, maybe actually hold it in like Kratos's way, it'll be more secure. Do you see that? Of course, as we know, the easiest method of all is that. <laughs> How easy is that? And then can we get a quick release for a historical one-handed axe or close-up? Oh, that was not good. I think one of the issues that why this is sliding out so much more, which will probably actually emphasize a bit more why Kratos's one would be even worse, is this is only slightly smaller in diameter to this. It's maybe a centimeter or a half a centimeter thinner on, uh, along this angle to my wooden axe here. And it's really easy to slip out because of that. I wonder if even that difference in size makes such a drastic difference to how secure it sits in there. Because I measured that exactly to fit this size axe in terms of the haft and head than this one. And if that much of a difference is making such a significant change in how secure it sits in the holder, because the slightest twist caused it to fall out. Which is why I think Kratos's original design probably wouldn't hold the axe fairly securely. See that? There. And then we just grab that and we got to go. Okay, yeah, that is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, that was with a one-handed analog to a historical one-handed battle axe. How about now and a more appropriate analog to Kratos' axe in real life? This is the wrong axe head, but it would be closer to weight and also closer to size. Uh, this one might not even handle the weight because it's wood, but Let's see how this one goes with putting it in. I'm not going to try the Kratos method of hanging it in. Oh, gee, now that does not that did not seem secure. Let me try and twist it in the loop better. Okay, and uh, it kind of wants to twist out, but uh, it's holding it. It does want to twist out. Do you see here though? The way it's hanging really wants to twist out and it would be the size of the opening that would stop it or help help it hold it in place and so maybe if the opening was even smaller yeah you see that don't try this at home folks okay <laughs> i'm a professional <laughs> what famous last words Ugh. so uh, sliding out too much one of the things that i think was really helping kratos's axe stay in place was the back hook holding it there, where these axes don't have it. So that's probably another factor helping it hold it in place. Because see how this part is just hooking over that other hook there, which really helps it lock it in place. And so that makes it so much more secure than those wood cutting axes we had. And because we tested it with the wood cutting axes, we know this design can hold the weight and you can release it pretty quickly as well. So this works, this is an effective, <laughs> uh, axe carrying method and in fact this design is far better than the other designs that we had as well <laughs> there we go thanks for letting me uh explore this to the furthest length we can to really test uh, you know the most effective way to do it and it's this design okay so it's kind of very similar to kratos's axe uh, sorry kratos's hook design but with these guiding prongs there that help it just slide in and then when you're waylaid by enemies you just go and you grab it and you're like ah i hope you've enjoyed and of course i hope to see you again so until that time farewell